Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Parmesha, Department of Botany, St. Joseph's University, Bengaluru. Welcome to the Botany Open Elective Course, Gardening and Landscaping Technology. Why decoration is required? So decor is used to enhance a garden after the main features have been installed. Yes, our main features is the plants here. Okay, yes, of course we have to have a nice plants in our garden. That's a softscape. Softscape is important. For our but uh, uh, and whatever I told in the previous case, okay, so right from there to here, so ponds and seating and other, okay, so decks and patios, but we need some additional decoration. So what are those? Uh, so we have to have some colorful benches and we have to have our statue. Okay, so and some additional supporting features. Okay, additional supporting features. Um, as yes, of course, some of them alone. One nature way, other people are statues. So they make so comfortable, appealing statues. If you go to many places, such small gardens, indoor gardens, or outdoor gardens. So within that, the common statue, what you see, uh, they are like a Buddha statue. Okay, so everywhere, okay, even if you go to hotels, okay, uh, some garden, uh, Buddha statues are common. Okay, it's so appealing. Okay, and sometimes complete Buddha just face. Apart from that, uh, sometimes they go to like statues of uh, uh, like uh, whatever you see in the top, like uh, the people who contributed to development of that particular area, place, state. Okay, you can see statue of Mahatma Gandhi, Ambedkar, or if you go to Lalbagh, you can see uh, the king, Mysore king, the Chamarajendra Wadiyar. Okay. So, sitting on a horse, they established this. You can see in a guard, okay. And uh, in many places, you can see other statues also, especially if you go to European countries, you can see some modern and uh, contemporary, okay. So, contemporary art, okay. So, design, you can see the extreme right down, okay. It's a uh, so big lawn in that lawn. So, they made uh, some nice statue, okay. So, so it's kind of submerged art, but again you can see something like this many. Okay, so in European gardens. Okay, these are all kind of contemporary. Okay, uh, I mean overall it should indicate. Okay, these are all kind of uh, decorating our garden along with uh, whatever we have seen, uh, like uh, uh, hardscape and softscape. Along with this decoration, you can see additional supporting features. Also, we can use to enhance our garden. So, can anyone name so some supporting features uh, possible to install or erect or put it in the garden to enhance the garden features? Just randomly for your mind. Sir, water fountain. Uh, other thing yeah of course water fountain so yeah, good so but uh, some i mentioned but still i'll consider this one also okay anyway it will come yeah so decoration water fountain very good it plays a major role i will come to that very, very good next so think small gardens also not only always think big garden right from small gardens to big garden So far, whatever I not covered, so that should come in your mind. But of course, I agree that water fountains are good. Placing hmm. a bird feeder. Huh? Bird feeder, sir. Bird feeder, very good. Very good. Then. Anybody else? So what is your good names? The person who told bird feeder and water fountain. Hello. Myself, Ellers. Okay. You are from? Uh, MEC, sir. MEC. So very good, very good. So other person? 
so my name is Srihari. I'm from BVC. Okay, okay, sure. So nice, Srihari. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So whatever you told is right. Okay. The supporting features are bird house, bird houses, beehives, feeders, tree houses, trellis, and lighting. Okay. So of course, when I say lighting, water will also part of that. Okay. So. Uh, we'll see that how we can combine. That's what I told you in the very first slide. The gardener or designer has to think where he can merge things. Okay, so he can merge things to enhance or beautify beautify that garden. Okay, supporting features of the garden will enhance the style and aesthetics of the garden. Okay, so already you mentioned. So uh, maybe if I give some more time, you might have think and uh, uh, mention these things. Okay, but anyway. So we are going to study this, and uh, I am telling you. So here onwards, whenever you visit small gardens or medium size or large gardens, so try to think and link whatever you learned here. Okay, so what purpose they are keeping this, and uh, these are you make categories. Okay, so okay, these are soft caves. So plants and other things. Okay, these are soft caves. The rocks, if you see, okay, these are all hard caves. And you see these things. Okay, birds, beehives, feeders, tree houses. Okay, these are all. Ornamental purpose, like sorry, decoration purpose. But everyone, everything is classified, and in fact, they have their own, okay, so uses, okay, function, okay, or contribution to the garden. Okay, so we have to think, and uh, yeah, of course, if you want to like start something in the future, uh, like your own entrepreneur, or like a business or anything, okay, you you keep this in mind, okay, so then you can suggest so based on the landscape. Based on the size of the garden, they whatever whatever they give, okay. So and uh, maybe you can think of uh, is that uh, like garden or location comes within the city or periphery of the city, okay. So like urban, peri-urban, rural. So these three landscapes have a different uh, setting, ecological uh, setting okay? in terms of uh, animals like birds, butterfly. That's why so this is a major role. Okay, better to have some basic information about this. So this will give you much more ideas. Okay, yes, bird houses. Uh, was like right. Okay, um, because they are also very important because uh, these birds are part of our ecosystem. Okay, of course, uh, uh, compared to few years back, we are losing many birds. Okay, so maybe you might have heard or you might have seen. Even during our childhood, we used to see lots of birds uh, in the city. But uh, now, so relatively less. Uh, one because we lost so many trees and urbanization impact of urbanization, and uh, uh, like uh, uh, like say traffic and other thing. And some people used to say uh, uh, like uh, uh, mobile towers may affect your birds. I mean, not so not much. Uh, Uh, research, okay. So, till the concrete result, so, but you might have seen that uh, ro, what is that uh, robo 2.0, okay. So they that was the story. So birds used to die because of this mobile tower, okay. So cell phone towers. Uh, but of course, uh, if you say like urbanization, okay, an urban uh, heat island effect might uh, decrease bird diversity. We may increase that by by keeping bird houses and feeders at home. Okay, and every season, because olden days there were keystone species like uh, all fig trees used to give uh, food for these birds throughout the year. Now, because of extension of road, uh, metro, train, and urban areas, we lost so many trees. Uh, so we have to support that uh, the, those birds uh, by giving uh, some habitat or some niche. Okay, so that's why feeders also play a major role. so and we can keep based on our personal taste and also what type of birds we have in our vicinity okay and based on that we can give feeder size of the bird houses okay so those are all uh, matters and uh, we have the benefits three four benefits so by keeping bird houses first of all like i mean say five first of all one is giving appealing and we feel okay so comfortable happiness and that's the first thing and apart from that so you can see the four um, things i mentioned here controlling pest okay if the birds are in your vicinity since birds eat insects okay the 
pest insect okay, insect pest so they used to problematic for our crops or some other okay so related aspects in our garden so these insect the larvae might eat our plants okay so that's how these birds will eat those insects okay so controlling pest and weed control sometimes in our gardens some weeds seeds of weeds are more and it won't allow to grow native plants or the plant what we really want to grow so in those cases these birds will eat weed seeds and they'll control weeds and flower pollination so of course you um, in botany or biology student might have know about this pollination uh, for non biology student so to get every seeds okay to get one rice okay or to get one uh, uh, bean okay so or to get one fruit there should be a pollination because in each flower uh, there will be a male and female part so if the male part has to touch female part to become the fruit or seed but that will happen various through various means sometimes wind will do that the job sometimes the bees will do that job sometimes birds will be, do that job okay when birds will go to bring uh, nectar in the flower that time so activity bird will move so male okay pollen grain okay it will touch uh, female okay so pistil okay the egg of the flower so then pollination will happen pollen grain will germinate the male uh, microspore or uh, male okay sperm will reach the egg and flower will be fertilized and the flower gives rise to fruits and seeds okay so this is the uh, process to get uh, any seeds any beans any pulses okay any grains or any fruits this thing should be happening so if we lose these birds are bees okay so we may not get these things okay so that's so so keeping birds in a garden will play the major role and conservation of course you can conserve lots of birds okay some migratory birds winter migratory birds used to come okay so if something happens you can keep those birds and you can contribute towards conservation uh yeah pollination so there were some studies if you lose all bees okay so yeah of course for your garden bees will also come okay so i'll tell when it comes to next slide okay so why keeping bee hives is also important okay uh yeah so bird house it's just uh, for one thing for decoration but imagine so we have many other aspects okay other side of keeping bird houses in terms of uh, conservation okay bee control pollination and uh, control pest so that's why it's important and we'll get uh, different types of bee I mean bird houses okay in different uh, uh, price range and right? different shapes and sizes next one is a bee hives okay so yeah so bee hives keeping bee hives is also another additional uh, important uh, uh, supporting structure to enhance the beauty of the garden and also to get some monetary benefit or else some consumption okay so because anyway in the garden we are growing lots of plants and uh, especially the flowering plants so flowers are important for bees to collect nectar that's how they will make uh, honeycomb and they will produce honey so uh, generally wild bees they will travel to uh, many places some village village to forest forest to agriculture land like that they used to move so uh, especially bees are like kind of endangered because using lots of pesticide and people used to burn while harvesting that will affect the bee colony so to protect them okay so one way we can protect them other way we can get honey so keeping a bee hives bee box in your garden so this honey will collect uh, honey honey or nectar through visiting uh, the plants around uh, your garden okay and uh, every like uh, interval like uh, two months three months okay or once in a month or once in two months you can collect uh, honey and you can use it for your own consumption okay so bee boxes are also uh, available okay so sometimes uh, you have to be careful because because uh, having uh, bee hive in our garden so is uh, not permitted for every way because there are legal requirements are uh, required to have a bee box okay because sometimes it's uh, related to a minimum maximum buffer area so 
but is in a residential area so some neighbor house may it uh, come like okay so it might sting be it's a dangerous okay so that's why because again all bees are not like so dangerous so we have different types of uh, uh, species okay rock bees okay so like apis floria apis mellifera apis dorseta like that we have different species and uh, all species are not so dangerous okay some are very mild so even we can uh, handle so with our hand i mean uh, bare hand so only rock bees are quite dangerous the big bees we have seen on big buildings and uh, water tanks and big trees so those are all quite dangerous otherwise this small apis mellifera and apis floria these are all small bees are very useful so we can harvest and we can get some benefit out of this and we can also keep uh, protect bees okay? so because so bees are uh, used to travel i told you know like uh, city trees uh, and sometimes nearby agriculture land and if there are forest because of urbanization it might affect it, uh, this bee colonies so that's why we can one other way we can protect bees also so there are some studies like uh, if we lose bees on earth suddenly within 4 years all of us will going to die because so there is no food for us that means no pollination bees won't involved in pollination so then no seeds no fruits okay so and uh, we may not have like uh, all so much wind pollinated crops okay so that's why so protecting bees is also important so this is another additional options oh, okay we can keep a bee hives in the garden to beautify your garden and also so to get some uh, benefit okay, where you can harvest but oh, it has to go through some legal requirements based on what type of bees you are going to keep okay so except rock bee other bees hope you can keep and you can harvest honey okay so this is a, another thing uh, about uh, keeping okay so bee hives in the garden uh, in another supporting structure you can keep in the garden is a tree house also okay if you really have a relatively big garden okay and if you have a some nice tree big tree or else some uh, two three normal trees Uh, we need to to each other can build a tree house okay a tree house is a platform or a building constructed around next among the trunk or branches of the trunk on one tree or on more tree you can see in the top so on one tree only they have built one tree houses if you see the second picture you can on uh, the three four trees combined together they build one tree house okay so tree houses at uh, i mean it's kind of uh, eco friendly and connect with nature okay connect with So, and it's a additional, okay, so your extra house or extra home, so this is related to your garden. So you have like one house. So next to that, there you have one some garden. Okay, you have 30-40 side. Next to that, there is another 30-40 side. You kept exclusively for garden. So there, if you have some trees to be planted, maybe you can build one small house. Okay, there maybe it's a kind of additional guest house that you can uh, use. Okay. and you can work you can spend your time there okay maybe some study uh, purpose also you can use that okay and there is additional work space recreation and hangout space and also on another advantage is you can do bird and butterfly watching you can see extreme uh, right corner picture so you can you can do bird watching too okay so because uh, uh, it's a merge with nature maybe if birds are scared to visit the concrete house but definitely they try to visit this tree houses okay so it's kind of niche you can observe different types of birds and different types of butterflies different types of insects you can in fact you can make a note of this okay you can make a documentary and you can contribute to our citizen science okay the, it's possible okay that's how so again the supporting structure tree houses also play a major role okay only thing you have to have a space for that okay if somebody approaches to you offer a tree houses maybe you can suggest this thing okay i mean you have to have a so some basic knowledge about this then trellis the next supporting structures are trellis so maybe you might have seen in many gardens or parks so this type of structures you might have seen what are these so maybe that time you might have moving okay so some structure but now so by seeing this we call it as a trellis okay and also these are all garden components and these are all decorative components of in the garden and again these are all uh, hardscapes comes under hardscapes 
okay so train so, uh, train so, is is and climbing plants are train so training is, uh, train the people to fly like this train is very popular in uh, grape cultivation okay so maybe if you are coming from somewhere in uh, near dudbalapur in chikkolapur area so their uh, grape cultivation is uh, so very common and you might have seen how they climb this stone okay and it will go to the pandal level from there they will trim that okay they will trim the branches and they will train that uh, climber that grape plant where to go okay and it will grow and it will spread and it, then it will produce the fruits similar way here also so trellis are the structure so see here the metal structure sometimes stone sometimes wood okay sometimes you can reuse the material maybe in the third picture you can see the cycle rings are used from there they grow this some plants okay uh, the plants will climb and they will give that particular structure whatever the trellis structure if you make square so it will completely cover and it will give square structure it will circle okay and it will uh, arch type okay arch type so those things possible and we can grow and it will give aesthetic okay first of all aesthetic value and additionally so these climbers these plants climbers so they are uh, not i mean so strong enough to stand on the ground they need some climber some support okay so generally they require other plants to grow in the wild but in the garden we are making this trellis is a supportive structure on that they will grow so this will give okay so very beautification okay it will beautify the garden and we i mean especially for the walkways okay they are using this trellis okay some are long some are narrow wood metal okay so they are uh, i mean different pattern you can use okay whatever the pattern you will use in that pattern they will grow okay um and it will decorate the garden okay? so again there are so many plants we can use for this purpose okay so uh, maybe i can't see members you can use bougainvillea okay so bougainvillea you can use passiflora uh and uh, this is one more plant I forget the name okay so anyway when plant component comes i will show all these and i will tell you okay what plants so you can use all these uh, trellis to grow this climbers okay especially trellis for only climbers different types of uh, climbers okay it will it will so beautify and it will decorate your garden okay so this is about uh, trellis and next is a lighting okay so lighting is again another important aspect somebody told water in the initial itself yes so water is also playing a major role so see when you when you merge when you combine water and lighting together that will enhance the beauty of the garden double the beauty of the garden so like anything you okay, can see the right side some permanent structure okay the hardscape like statues and lighting and some uh, fences and the wall built okay so the decks and patios with lighting and pool with lighting okay and pond with lighting and fireplace with lighting so all these will enhance your uh, uh, beauty okay these are all supportive structures uh, in the garden okay the purpose of outdoor lighting is to increase the efficiency of human activities during the time uh, when it is uh, dark okay suppose uh, you 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 build a nice garden if it is dark if there is no lighting it is again uh, uh, i i can't say useless but uh, we are going to lose that amount of time okay so once it become dark after 6 you can't use the garden suppose if you have a good lighting even you can use even during night time also okay so so by seeing this picture you can make out okay so you can work till 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock okay so you can spend your time in the garden or you can have some small occasions in the garden if you have a proper lighting so it will enhance your beauty aesthetic okay and it is it could be appealing okay and sometimes lighting in the garden is uh, feels not only just beautiful but also safe secure and comfortable okay so because so of course in this garden so chances of uh, snakes and other thing used to be there okay uh, some other uh, creatures okay so but if you have a proper uh, lighting okay so that's again very safe so generally they won't uh, come okay so if there is a uh, lots of light and you feel safe okay so that's what 
and sometimes uh, lighting and the water and fountain combined together we can make use for a entertainment okay you can make use for entertainment uh, so that will be like a kind of uh, 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 you can use it uh, for a long time and uh, big gatherings can also be possible and you can lots of ceremonies you can do uh, in vicinity of those areas but relatively it requires uh, like a big uh, uh, areas okay, for those kind of thing for example so brindavan garden in mysore so those who visited brindavan garden so they never forget the lighting okay, and the fountain okay, the dancing uh, fountain and lighting is a uh, very important and very beautiful and very popular okay so people so used to go sometimes every week to see this because it's not there for every day so only during dasara period they will uh, okay okay so every day otherwise maybe sundays and saturdays weekends it's very popular okay so these are all uh, lighting so so overall what i want to say with respect to non living component or non plant component or non living element or non plant uh, element so we need lots of experimentation required to build a, or modify a landscape into a beautiful garden okay especially apart from soundscape like apart from plants so we need okay so more uh, non plant component so are playing a major role whatever we study so far or uh, like right from uh, rocks okay or fountain water lighting decks patios supporting structures like behind okay tree trellis tree houses board houses okay all these play a major role but it will not come at a time okay so one time you can't go and fix everything so we need lots of experimentation suppose you are going to keep bee hive if there is no bee population in those areas okay so there's a waste of keeping bee hive and you are keeping a bird uh, like uh, houses there are no much bio, bird diversity in those areas okay there's no point keeping bird houses and also sometimes you have a different types of birds okay even diversity is different okay so only large birds or only small birds okay based on the size of the birds also you can uh, experiment with the different types of bird houses okay so that's why so you have to understand a lot both plants and animals and also to keeping this bee hive you have to understand some some uh, plants okay so flowering plants are very important because b has to collect the nectar okay so that's how uh, it's it's uh, very important and additionally so learning gardening in a different ways especially this uh, uh, artscape the non living component is also rewarding part of living sustainability along with plants okay so if you merge both blending with uh, softscape and hard land hardscape we can really build very nice garden or we can really change the landscape into so nice garden and it make much more sense and knowing all the parts of the garden so lends great flexibility and creativity okay it should be creativity and whatever i told is not the final you can make on your own creation okay so there's a lots of scope and uh, room for creativity in this field okay so that mix and matching okay and mix and multi layer okay you can blend many things and that's how so you can you can beautify your garden okay So with this, uh, I end my class. I have used innumerable photographs from various sources, especially from the internet for study purpose. I hereby acknowledge this respective people and also respective website for their lively and informative photographs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates.